Um, my lords, I want to thank um, the noble Lord, Lord Winston, for the time that he has given me to understand fully his amendment, and also to put on my record uh, my deep admiration and respect for so much of the work that he has done. Uh, my lords, of all people, Lord Winston will be only too aware of the extraordinary medical progress that is currently being made in perinatal and neonatal care. We should be advocating in this bill for the best treatment for children with disabilities. The provision of holistic care, including perinatal and neonatal hospice care, at the end of life can help ensure these babies are treated with dignity, care and love. While the life expectancy of these babies may well be brief, they do have a life and are significant family members who will be valued, remembered and treasured. The Northern Ireland Executive has recently set out a commitment to provide such hospice care in the Department for Health's 10-year plan on palliative care for children. And I hope we will see this sort of care being provided elsewhere in the UK. Perhaps the Noble Lord, the Minister, could comment. My Lords, Amendment 1, aside from being antithetical to the spirit of this bill, is fraught with difficulties, as we've heard this afternoon. The amendment in the order of the wording, such as what would be judged to be a high probability? We've heard this question repeatedly in the House this afternoon. Is this over 90%? Is this over 50%? Is this 65%? How would the decision about likely death be made? Would that be with or without treatment? Since conditions may be classified as the same, but may manifest varying symptoms from those which may indeed be lethal to those which may in fact be treatable or not immediately lethal. And as um, in my discussion earlier today with Lord Winston, we discussed uh, cleft palate, which can be very severe or in fact quite minor and correctable. How long would shortly after need to be to qualify? Would it be a matter of hours or days or months? What would count as a serial, serious fatal anomaly since this is in fact not even a medical term. Amendment 1 does not bring any certainty, but it raises more questions than answers. My Lord, furthermore, these questions demonstrate how the law would be treating these children differently from children without disabilities. It would again be enshrining discrimination that the noble Lord, Lord Shinkwin, is seeking to eliminate. And I encourage noble lords in this House not to support the amendment.